Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts on a new Tarte palette. I did ask you guys on Instagram if you guys wanted a first impressions review on this new Tarte Unleashed palette, and the majority of you guys said yes, so I figured I would film it. This is the new Young, Wild, and Cruelty Free palette, or it's called Unleashed as well, both names, I guess, and it is online at TarteCosmetics.com right now. The palette retails for 39 American dollars or 49 Canadian dollars, and it does come with a sample of the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. Now you guys will need to excuse my complexion today because I did do a spray tan yesterday. I'm doing it for an event tomorrow. So I realize that I don't have any base products that match a tan yet. I have to go to Sephora in a hurry tonight and make sure I have something for the event. So right now it's a little bit mismatched. I do apologize, this is the best I could do, but the tones are slightly off. I think my face is a little bit cooler than my tan. <laughs> Anyways, moving right along, this palette has 15 shades. We have earthy neutrals and we also have some bold shades as well. Tarte likes to do the pop of green and blue lately. I've noticed that in a few of their palettes. So I wasn't surprised when they did this because this is a like earthy, supposed to be jungle type themed palette. The pan size of this palette is a little bit bigger than other palettes but I think it's a pretty good deal considering how much money it is and how many colors you do get. I like that this palette has the bold colors just for if you're wanting to play with color, but it also has those nice neutrals if you want to just kind of comfortably lean back to what you're used to. Tarte claims that this palette is made in the USA, it says here, and it is also cruelty-free and vegan. The formula of this, of course, is their Amazonian Clay formula. This is a formula that I have come to love and appreciate over the years. I am a big Tarte collector. I do have a lot of palettes. And what I can say is that when it comes to this color story, this is not like a mind-blowingly new thing that they've done. They often do kind of earthy, neutral palettes, which is kind of what they're known for, but they also have the pops of color in there as well. So last year, Tarte released a palette called the Tartus Pro Remix. There was a shade in that palette that I thought was pretty similar to this new one. So I compared them because they both have that gold with a little bit of a greeny undertone. And as you can see, they do have some similarities, but according to this swatch comparison, they are still different. So how it translates on the eye distinctly, it's not gonna be that much. It's gonna be a pretty consistent look when applied to the lid. One thing that I did find was that there is a Tarte shade somewhere in their other Tarte collection that is similar to this palette. So I feel like you could dupe this palette, I would say with the rest of them, but there isn't one palette that I have in my collection that is like so similar with many, many shades. There's only like one shade. So for instance, the Tardis Pro palette, Remix palette, sorry, that one has one shade. The blue in here, I'm gonna show you as well. The blue in this Unleashed palette is called Party Animal, and as you can see, there are three other blues that I compared it to that all look super similar, but they're all from different palettes. So this is kind of what I'm saying. It's not like we have one palette that is identical to this palette in any way, but we do have these shades kind of spewed across the rest of their collection. So if you are an avid collector and you're looking for something different, this will not be it. But if you are wanting to collect or you're a big Tarte fan, or you're kind of after your first palette, for instance. This is a really good one. So for the look I created today, it was super easy. I wanted to get kind of like a beautiful, like violet look going on that was still pretty natural. So I went all over the lid with Oh Deer, and Deer is spelt like the animal deer, which is kind of cute. This one blended in beautifully, very consistent, loved how it applied to the lid as per normal. Then I went in with Hippocritical, and Hippo is also in that word, it's really cute. And this one as well is a shimmer shade. I put that all over the lid as well. Very, very easy. You could even leave it here for an everyday look, but I wanted to add a little bit more dimension. So I went in with the shade Koalified, which has Koala at the top. So adorable. <laughs> so this is one that I put at the outer edge of my lid. And as you can see, it's a nice, beautiful, deep matte. It does give a little bit of dimension to the look and I really, really enjoyed it. Lastly, I wanted to add another shimmer to add a little bit more of some bam right into the middle of the lid. This is typically what I like to do. It's kind of like a gentle look. So this is the shade You're a Lion, which is so cute. This one as well applied beautifully. And I do like how so far I've used, I guess, four shades out of the 15. So it's definitely just a first impression, but these shades are consistently applying well, building up well, blending out well, similar to the other Tarte Amazonian Clay palettes that I have in my collection. Now for the packaging of this, this has the like kind of scratchy vinyl feel similar to the Tardis Pro Remix palette. I'm gonna show you as well when I grab that palette real quick. 
Okay, so as you can see, this palette also still has that vinyl feel. This is the second palette that I have had with this kind of vinyl texture that Tarte has released. When you flip this palette over, you do see a gorgeous pink kind of hard plastic, but it's shiny metallic. And that is similar to this Make Waves palette that they've just done, just in like packaging material. Not that it's the same color or anything, but it is that same shiny, like weighty plastic. So this feels really, really nice and worth the price tag in my opinion some of the ones like I hate to say it but the Tarte and Adeline Morin palette that's the cardboard packaging is not my personal favorite but when you have this nice weighty like hard plastic packaging to me it more so appeals to my luxury taste these shades I feel like are perfect Jenna shades plus we have the pops of color for when Jenna wants to be a little bit experimental <laughs> So yeah. Anyways, I'm really loving this so far. I think it's adorable. I have found that Tarte hasn't really been promoting this one as much as some of their other palettes. I'm not sure why, but this one is really, really nice. So let me know down below, what are your thoughts on this palette? Is this one that you're going to pick up or are you just kind of sick of the same shades kind of getting recycled with Tarte's formula? As always, I will update you guys fully once I've tested every single shade of this palette, but so far I'm super excited about it. Until my next video, guys. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great, but somewhere there's a light inside of us. It shows the way.